The more cattlemen know about marbling, the better the chances of making more. Animal scientists across the country are getting down to the test tube level, determining what makes a bovine cell turn into different types of fat or muscle. And so we've, we've done a series of experiments that clearly have shown that the, the cells, the adipocytes that make up marbling are, are truly different than the cells that, that make up subcutaneous or back fat. And in fact, they're probably more closely match up with muscle cells than they do with back, with back fat cells. And that, that's, that's allowed us to, to try to manipulate those cells in different ways. That discovery came as a little bit of a surprise. We're taught the kind of hierarchy of fat deposition. And we, we're all taught early on that internal fat is the first fat deposit to protect our vital organs. And then we have back fat and, and inter seam fat that's between muscles are kind of simultaneous. And we're always taught that marbling or intramuscular fat is the last fat to be deposited. In fact, we're learning as part of this, this research that we've done in, in our, our team, we're, we're learning that marbling development, it actually happens in gestation for that animal. We can impact via fetal programming mechanisms, we can impact potential marbling in that calf in utero of what its, what its outcome is going to be at the end of the feeding period. This work could be the gateway for new management strategies and products aimed at increasing beef quality and efficiency in tandem. And so much of the research in our lab has been trying to, to exploit those differences with, with the hope that at some point maybe we can intervene and, and increase marbling significantly but without increasing back fat. And obviously with, with our increases in commodity prices, feed efficiency is such a huge concern. And as animals get fatter, feed conversion tends to worsen. So if we can, if we can use our growth technologies that we have available and maintain really good feed efficiency, but yet get the animals to marble, uh, that's a huge advantage to the cattle feeder. And to the beef eater, Cindy Campbell reporting.